In 1979, Dr. Dallas Burnett submitted the first proposal for the Department of Communications to receive school status. It's about time <laughs> somebody finally had the vision uh, at the top to realize that uh, professionals and other academic institutions simply identify you as something a little better if you're a school rather than a department. In 2015, eight proposals later, the department was finally approved to become the School of Communications. I remember that, that our department was organized in 1965 when I first began teaching public relations and advertising. <clears throat> there was no, there was no admission. We were out recruiting students to come and join our faculty, join our, our student body. That's changed today until now. Only a select number can be admitted into the program because there are so many who want to join the, the students. The Department of Communications was housed in the Harris Fine Arts Center for nearly 40 years before being relocated to the Brimhall Building in 2004. Uh, we had been trying to get school status for a long time, but now having everything located together, the proximity issues, the faculty, the staff, and the students, we were able to elevate our program. This is the second oldest building on campus. The Mazer is the oldest building. When this building was initially built, it was built on one floor as a mechanic arts building. There really hadn't been an updating of this building. Uh, no sooner did we rip up the carpet and realize that underneath the carpet of the stairways was the original tile that had been installed in the building. Actually, original tile and woodwork that had been installed in the building in 1935. So the next time you're walking through the building, look down at the tile. It's been here since the original, and actually it was here the day Heber J. Grant dedicated this building on the lawn just west. After decades of passionate faculty, staff, and students, the School of Communications now has a name and a home.